Hi guys, I'm going to be talking about the plants that I currently own now. All the plants. Sometimes I don't know their names, I don't know what they are. There's a few that you don't know what they are. And I can't remember their names. I don't know how to pronounce their names. I'm just going to get right into it, okay? So the first one we have is this succulent. It come, It didn't... I got this at Lowe's probably like when I first moved to Florida, and that was, I lived there for three years, and I lived in New York for almost a year, so I've had this for a long time, and, you know, it is, you know, it has lost some, but it used to be in, it used to be in this, and then it was overgrowing, so I had to take it out, and I don't know if there was, like, an easier way to do it without breaking this, but, like, it lost a lot of stems. But I did take one of them, and I started propagating it, which I thought would be hard. I literally just laid it down, and I started misting it. And now there's little roots. I don't really understand how it works. I didn't really look it up. I just, I just did it because someone told me that I could do that. And I was like, what? Like, I've seen videos on it before. I didn't really watch it, but amazing. And I used to, when I lived in Florida, I was obsessed with succulents, and I pretty much only wanted succulents. But since I moved to New York, I'm all about, like, all kinds of plants. I get the monthly succulent box, which is $12, I think, including shipment and tax. I could be wrong, because shipment would be free, but uh, I get that, and then I get monthly house plant box, which comes with, well, last month slash this month didn't come with it. But usually comes with a plant and an air plant. Last slash this month didn't come with an air plant. It usually comes with a cute little card that says how to take care of a plant, which I love. I instantly go into my laptop and I put the information in there and I like to keep these around and I look at them all the time because I want to be a crazy plant person. Like, I'm sure I'm not the best plant dad right now, but someday I will get there. I don't. I think I just remembered what these were. I didn't label these. I got these at Joann's, and you plant them. I got them at the same exact time. I planted them at the same exact time. Well, you know, a few minutes apart. <laughs> and I water them the same amount, the same time. And like, this one's growing. I think these are strawberries? I might be wrong. One's strawberries and one's lavender. I think this one would be lavender because this one is like a fancy kind of like thing. So like I feel like that could be lavender because they want it to be like cute. And this could be strawberries, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Also at the same time as that one, I got this and nothing's happening. There's aloe in it. That might take a really long time though to start growing, but like there's nothing happening. I planted these around the same time too. I had them a little bit before because my boyfriend's family gifted it to me and they are marigolds and I planted them around the same time. Might have been the same day because I might have been feeling plantish. I don't know. But I planted it a little while after they gave it to me because, you know, I wanted to wait for spring so they can get a little bit warm. And I've been watering this a lot because it's weird. The water just sits at the top and then like slowly goes away. Oh, there's a seed right there. Wow. I'm clearly good at this. But also the water like brings it up. So, but whatever. And look, they're starting to grow and I'm very excited about that. Don't get the monthly succulent box. Unless you have good luck with it, don't get it because I don't think it's worth it. A lot of them, every single month, one comes in perfect condition, perfectly fine. The other one, nice condition, but it's out of its thing no matter what, it's just like out. And like the roots are out. And I'm like, I can't. Like last time I was just kind of like, well, I put it back in, hope for the best. It died. This one, I replanted them and they're dying and they won't stay. So, and I don't know how to propagate these ones because these ones are, are like leaves. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I don't want to be, like, that person and, like, message them or email them and complain. I'm sure that they could, you know, get me a new one. But I don't want to be, like, annoying. But anyway, they are pretty good. Another one from this same box was this one. 
And this one had a bunch of ones fall off too. Okay, so I don't know, I can't remember what this kind of second one was called. And it seems to be doing okay. You know, there's like brown right there. Also, if you guys have any tips for me on anything, let me know because I might be doing something wrong. I'm not standing here saying that I'm the best plant person. I'm not saying I'm like, I was gonna say I'm not a good plant person, but like most of them are still alive. You know, I pay attention to them. But that one had the, like a lot of the leaves fall off. So the struggle. And this one's struggling a little bit because its roots are out too. This is all from the same thing. So I think I'm gonna stop and cancel my subscription because like $10 for two succulents, that doesn't include tax and shipping. I could just go to like Lowe's and get it for cheaper for two succulents. And I can have them right then and I don't have to worry about the packaging and anything. The only issue is you do have to worry about other things at Lowe's because sometimes those plants are a bit rough. But, um, so, moving on to the next plant. I don't know what it is. It was gifted to me from my brother in this cute little thing. I don't know what it is. And I don't, I don't necessarily know how to, like, take care of it. Because I don't know what it needs. It's just been on my windowsill and I just water it a little bit. And, you know, it seems to not be doing the best. So, I don't know. But, yeah. Okay, oops. Okay, the next ones, these, I don't really know what's going on in here. They're air plants, but I think they might have died. And it's like getting a little gross in there, so I think I need to throw it away. But, it, oh yeah, wow. What is that? What does that mean? That's just soil, but why does it do that? I have another plant and it does that. I don't know why. Someone, please tell me if you know what that means. If you know what that means, please tell me because I am concerned for multiple things. Next one, which I recently got from Lowe's, is this palm thing. And they're so, it's so cute. It just sits on our coffee table and I love it. And I don't really have any issues. My only issue, this might be normal, but there's like, it's like brown at the bottom. I hope I'm, I hope I'm doing it okay. I do need to water them. I haven't watered them yet today. It's like 8 a.m. I literally got off at like 7.30 and just wanted to do this. Also, I didn't do this. This was like that, and I was just like, I don't want to rip that off. It's, you know. There's, it did come with some brown tips. I Doesn't that usually mean that they are burned from being in the sun too long? I don't know. Don't quote me. But... Save the plants from Lowe's. And I'm just gonna put that over here. Just so I remember I already showed. Okay, the next one I got from the monthly house plant box. And this one came, well, because you know, when you get a plant, it's more like this. So it kind of spreads out after a few days. But this one came with like, it's beautiful. I know, I love it. And it came with like, burnt ends, so they probably weren't, like, paying attention too much to it. But, like, besides that, it seems to me like it's in good condition. It's super cute. And I do have the piece of paper that says what it is. It doesn't, it didn't come with a cute little card this time for whatever reason. It came with just paper. So I was just realizing that succulent box literally said that they were gonna have new packaging and then they didn't have new packaging. Like, I don't know if they already, like, were like, eh, whatever, we're not gonna change that for this month. But, cute little guy, nothing to do with succulents. But it didn't come with an air plant this month, and I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, they're pretty new. Like, they don't have a lot of followers, right now anyway. Um, so they're, like, pretty new. Oh, also, just from my experience, the garden box... That's a monthly subscription box. Don't get it. It's like $30. And you'd think, oh yeah, but it gives me the tools I need and and the water. Hold on. I mean, not the water, the plant. So at the time, I loved Garden Box. But, so like, 
you know, the tools. They're pretty small, which is fine, but once you start getting a lot of plants, this doesn't do anything, sweetheart. I mean, I guess misting bottles, so it just lasts like a week during the summer. But like, we would get a plant, we would bring it outside. We have a screen in the area, so it wasn't like weird or anything. It wasn't like there were bugs. And I'd inspect the plants because I started noticing that there was like, bugs on my plants in, a, in my room so I was like I don't know how that's happening so then I looked when I first got the box and there was bugs in it not like just like a bug not like a bug but like plant bugs like pests on the plants and I was just like mm, okay so like whatever but like that's just my experience from it it might like that might have been only mine I don't know but I didn't really enjoy it, and I was gonna get it again, and then I remembered, and I was like, I don't want bugs in here. I don't need that for my plants. Um, so the next one is this. Oops. Lights. They're not even supposed to be there. They're supposed to be up against the thing. Also, hi, I'm white. It's a European cypress. I know that from knowledge. Kidding, it says it right there. But yeah. I don't, it's, it's cute, and I love it. And it's mine. So you guys have any uh, suggestions for me? Yes, I probably should repot it into a bigger pot so I can grow bigger. But not yet, sweetheart. Not yet. I don't have money. I literally have $10 in my bank account right now. I just paid for rent. So I need money. Okay, so the next one are these two air plants in here. This, I got this while I worked at Lowe's. I haven't worked at Lowe's since July. So like, I've kept these alive pretty well. Um, I got it for like, what, a dollar? Because it, it was, I discounted it because it was broken. It's like all shattered. You could cut yourself on this. Sometimes it does hurt because I forget it's there and it's like all shattered and stuff, but it's hella cute. And it comes with, there's like a little crystal in there. Like who wouldn't want that? That's so adorable. Oh, there's three air plants in there. Wow, I'm gonna miss that right now. Because, ugh. <gasps> what if they had a baby? Also, is this too much? Was that too much? That might've been too much. Oops, awkward. Okay, this air plant I got from last plant box. And it is super cute. I don't know how I feel about air plants. I think they're lovely, but I don't know what I want to do with them. There's like, I know you do arts and crafts, but I'm not into that. I just want the plant to be a plant. And I don't know how to, I know how to take care of them. It's not that hard. I hurt my finger the other day at Duncan. And then when I went to go do the dishes, it hurt so bad because the sanitizing water, I don't know, just hurts it. And I didn't know it was there and I put my hand in it and the water was already super hot. And then that just made me like, it hurt. Okay, so this one I've had for a while. I also got it at Lowe's. Not at a discounted price, I paid $3. And you know, it's growing. It is dying a little bit, but I thought it was succulent. And before I did a lot of research on succulents, I thought that they wanted to be in full sun, which I guess they do sometimes, but I don't think this is I don't know, it just started doing that. And so I took it away and now it's getting a little bit better. It's not doing it anymore, but I don't know what this is. If anyone knows what this is, please tell me. I know I could probably just do like find out, but like I'm not the best at finding things out really. But when I got it, it was smaller, so it's growing. That's always good. And then this one I got from Lowe's. It's one of my favorites. Most of my plants are one of my favorites, but like, Moon Valley Friendship Plant. I did have to read that. It's my favorite name also. It was way smaller when I got it. And now look, oh, look at that. My only concern, I keep meaning to look it up, is part of the leaves are like brown and I'm not sure why. Like I water them and oh, maybe it's getting too much sun. <gasps> Cause I've had it here. So that might be too much sun. Okay, just figured it out myself. I will put this somewhere else after this video. Okay, and then the same day, the same day I got that one, I also got 
these because I thought that they were two separate plants, but they're like actually the same plant. This one's growing pretty nicely. This one is not, and it looks very sad right now. I might need to water it. But I love these plants so much, and they look so good, and like, I don't know. I just love how they look. And like, they're easy to take care of. I know this might sound bad, but like, when they want water, they're just like completely drooping. You think that they're dead, because they're like, drooping but you water it and you come back out like three hours later and they're like upright like this they're all like happy and fun i definitely do need to water my plants though today so that's what i'm gonna be doing after this video and yes i know i don't you don't water plants with cold water i know that also one of my favorite plants and it is in rough shape and i need help <sighs> i love it so much it was pretty healthy when i got it and now it is not so healthy. There's like yellow leaves. They're doing whatever that is. Focus. It's doing whatever that is. There's like cuts on it for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it was like that when I got it. And I didn't notice. But like the soil is wet. The soil has been wet. I might need to dry it out maybe. I don't know. See that just happened. I didn't even like touch that one. But like the soil is wet. Like I don't understand. But, like, I don't water it till the water comes out. There's drainage on most of my plants, so, like, I don't understand. And this one's completely dried, and then there's that. Like, I don't know if it has a disease, and I should have been, like, plucking those off. But, it, that is one of my favorite plants, and I need help taking care of it. Like, this one looked fine. Maybe it's really fragile. I don't know. I should probably be more careful with it. And then this one I got at Lowe's for only a dollar. I probably clearanced it when I worked there. So I've had it since July. And I don't really know what it is. It doesn't say on here. But it is pretty cute. And it's been living. It's been a many different. It's been like every room pretty much. Um, so. It's living pretty great. Okay. Moving on. Oh. Wow. So to replace my sad Boston fern until I can get that at Lowe's again, uh, I have a green fantasy fern, which was in very rough shape when I, f not when I first got it. It was in rough shape for a little while because I was depressed. That's where I had a hamster. <laughs> and then I was like, mm, no girl, we're going to water this and take care of it. Yes, there's a little bit of a rough patch there, but like overall... I think it looks pretty great. And it was smaller, obviously, because plants grow. So that's pretty good. I probably got this at Lowe's or Walmart. I don't know. That's where I get most of my plants. Because Walmart sometimes will have the plants on sale. And they don't even know what they are. And they just don't give information. Um, so, yeah. And this came from Monthly Plant Box. I can't remember what it is because it doesn't say. But I also love this so much. It is so cute. It is in pretty good shape when I got it. The leaves up here were yellow, and they're not yellow now. I mean, there's some that are like a tint of yellow, but you know, I think I took care of it pretty well. And, oh no, there's a dried leaf right there. Oh my gosh. But look, another cut. I don't know if that's me or if that was them, or like getting here, I don't know. Because I don't, I keep these plants in the same area, so it's not like I'm moving them around all the time. So I don't know, it can't be me, right? Because I'm not moving them. I can't be the one cutting them. I don't know. Okay, and then the next one I got from Lowe's, and I don't know, you guys have to let me know if this is okay. But anyway, I got this. He is adorable, a petrocroton. I don't know if that's how you say it, and I also don't know if that's what this exact plant's called or if that's like the overall, like its family is called that, but I love this. This is so cute. These are the kind of plants I love. The plants that look like they're from a different like planet or from a different time period. Like these, when I got this, I was alarmed. I was like, is this an alien plant? Like, look at that. It's just so cute. And then this just gives me the same kind of feeling, you know, like very weird and very cool. And then at Lowe's, some of the plants now come with this. So you can just put it in water. I don't know if that's a good thing. Also, its roots are coming out. I should probably repot it. But I 
don't know if that's a good thing because don't you not want your plant? Because I know it's not technically sitting in the water, but it is like kind of sitting in water because then this is just gonna like go up there. I don't think that's what you want. So I don't think you're supposed to, but I don't know. I just get plants sometimes, but it's a fluffy ruffle fern and it is in pretty bad shape. I will not lie. I am, I'm not the best. I am not the best at all. <laughs> but you know, I'm trying, okay? And that's the whole point is that you have to learn which plants you like and which ones, you know, whatever. You gotta learn how to take care of the plants. So yeah, I thought all ferns were easy. I literally do the same thing, have them in the same area with my two ferns and one's doing way better and one's doing way worse. And I, I water both of them until the water comes out because that's what the internet says to do. So, and then I let the water, you know, go away so they don't sit in it. But the next one, this one was dying and it took off all the dead leaves, which took forever because it was a lot. And now it is growing new leaves. Hold on, I'm trying to get a dead leaf off. I don't know why there's dead leaves on it. But it's my ivy, which is in way worse shape than it was before. Like there's way less, but it's growing new ones. And I'm just excited about that. Let's just be excited about that, okay? Let's not focus on what happened. Let's just focus on what's happening now. Like, look at that. It's so gorgeous and I love it. And the soil is wet because I, you, you're supposed to keep it moist. So the next one is this guy. I don't know what it is. It came from Garden Box. I don't have that information anymore. Um, it used to have bugs and then they just kind of left. They were just like, we're going away. So bye. And I check all my plants. As far as I know, none of them have anything. I keep this one far away though, just in case. Also, I don't know what happened there. It just kind of happened. The whole pot used to look like this. And now there's just like random white stuff in the Rocks are like green, which I'm sure is normal because it's a plant, so. But it's, it kind of creeps me out. Like, I don't know. There's a drainage hole, so I don't know. But I love it. But it's very cute and lovable. I don't know. I was most excited to get this plant. And then I thought it would be super easy to take care of. And I watered it all the time. And I didn't really look at any information about it because they said it was like indestructible. So I just water it, you know, like, <laughs> all plants need a lot of water. Not true, especially not in winter. So it's my snake plant, which is very big. I got it this big. I might have grew a little, but um, it's dying a lot. So I'm, I've, the water, the soil is still wet and I haven't watered it in like two weeks or like a week. So probably just root rot. Um, but besides that, I think it is very nice. Kind of said that it is dying though. Also, the soil is so gross. Like, I don't know how to really show, but like, oh, I'm not showing it. But the soil looks so gross. Okay, if your soil in your plants looks gross, are you supposed to change the soil? How do you change the soil? Are you supposed to do something? Is there something you can do? Because I don't want my plants to have gross soil. Only some of them do. This one. This one's pretty much the only one that has gross soil. Those are my plants as of right now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Any tips would be great. Just, just don't be mean.